Hey guys, I'm Brian, and you're watching another Broketographer's unboxing. Alright guys, so today for you we have the Canon Image Prograph Pro 1000 Wide Format Photo Printer. Um, before I get started on unboxing this beast of a printer, I want to thank the guys out here at Image One Camera in Riverside, California um, for hooking us up with a good deal on this printer and sort of doing their part in helping us be a little less broke. Um, right now, actually, Canon's even got some good rebates on, uh, I think, all of their photo printers. So definitely check that out if you're in the market for a photo printer. Um, Canon makes some great ones and uh, you can get them really cheap right now. Right now, um, I have the Pro 100, uh, which has actually been really good for the past couple of years, but I wanted to move up, so that's why I started looking into this. Now, I'm actually not sure if the Image Prograph uh, series is a whole separate professional line of printers uh, from the Pixmas. I believe it is because I still think the Pro 100, the Pro 10, and the Pro 1 um, are still in production, so I don't think that this is replacing it. I think the Image Prograph is a separate line of printers um, geared toward professionals. They also have the Image Prograph 2000, which I think is a 24 inch um, wide format printer. Uh, that one is humongous. And they have the gargantuan uh, Pro 4000, I think that does up to 44 inch wide prints. Um, and those two are humongous. They're, they're floor standing printers. I think they can do roll paper. This one in particular cannot. Um, it does up to 17 inch by 22 inch, I believe. Um, and the, the Pixmas I think are up to 13 by 19. So that's sort of um, where this is positioned. So let's get started on unboxing this thing. And uh, I'm gonna see if I don't embarrass myself trying to get this thing out of the box. If I do, I will pause it and we will come back. So. I've actually been printing um, a lot more of my images lately, which is why I looked into upgrading my printer. Um, I haven't actually printed anything larger than 13 by 19, so I don't expect that I will want to get the Pro 2000 or the Monster 4000 um, printer in the future. Not that I even have the space. This one will not fit currently where I have my Pro 100. So I think the Pro 100 is either going to get sold or just be used for normal office tasks or something like that. Um, I will probably have to put this in the loft upstairs and sort of uh, put it on its own table. But yeah, so um, we've got some papers here. Uh, let's just leave this here. A uh, quick start guide, which is taped down pretty well. Quick start guide. Um, and this thing's got 12 cartridges, uh, 12 80 mil, I believe, cartridges. So we have gray, we've got a magenta cartridge, a, I'm guessing, matte black. This is the cyan. Put these down here. We have a yellow. I'm not sure if these are starting cartridges or if these are actually full. Uh, this is the Chroma Optimizer, so this is actually, um, I think, specifically for prints. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure what it does, but I know it does make the prints look better, and I have heard it helps with um, eliminating brassing on the prints. This is a Photo Black, Photo Cyan. Is that 12? Two, four, six, eight a power cable. Let me move these out to the side here. Uh, lift this out. There's more, there's more uh, 
ink cartridges down here. Let's get this off to the side, lift this out here. So the printer is actually very well protected. This box is humongous, and I thought the one for my Pro 100 and my Pro 9000 Mark II were huge, but this one is a beast. A red ink cartridge, photo gray, blue, photo magenta. So those are the 12 ink cartridges. I will bring those back in a second. Uh, this looks like the print head, I believe. This is the print head. And let's see, what is this? It's like this is software. Maybe some, comes with a little sample pack of luster paper. Uh, this is a print head alignment. Um, I guess these are to help set up the printer. And whoops, sorry about that guys. I hope my uh, microphone got caught on the box and got disconnected. And so here we have the Pro 1000 printer. Um, I know this is pretty heavy. I will try to take it out of the box by myself. If not, I will come back with it unboxed. And uh, wow, this thing is unwieldy. Not sure how I'm gonna get this. Okay, let's see if I can lift it by this bag and not break anything. All right. Wow, this bag is really strong. Warranty cards and software. Let me get this out of the way. So we've got warranty cards and software here. The print head alignment. A sample of their luster paper. Print head, I think. 12 massive ink cartridges. And I hope these are full ink cartridges or else uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of money on ink in the near future. So I think each, um, the Chrome Optimizer is a little bit cheaper than um, the other ones. There is the power cord. And, uh, oh wow, so this bag is actually designed to uh, help you pull it out of the box. An actual Pro 1000 printer. Oh, geez, okay. So that was not the greatest idea because it's still in this bag. Okay, here we go. And this is the printer. I hope I don't crush my fingers. All right. So there it is. It is humongous. It definitely will not fit where my Pro 100 is now. It's almost as big as this entire coffee table. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, very heavy, it shouldn't shift when printing, but that is the ImageProGraph Pro 1000 17 inch wide format photo printer by Canon. Um, thank you guys for watching, stay tuned. Uh, check out our blog at thebrokeographers.com. We have a lot of info there on um, a lot of high-end equipment. We're sort of specializing in um, 
a lot of the high-end lighting. Um, we also have a lot of lighting education on there, a lot of testing, comparisons, and hopefully we have more stuff to bring you guys in the near future. Um, we do plan on doing an overview and review of this printer, so stay tuned for that. Um, like, follow, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, at the Brokeographers, and we will see you next time. Thank you, guys.